All right, y'all. What we're doing today is we're going to take this Dell Inspiron 660S. Um, and it came stock with a dual core little Pentium piece of shit. Um, and it's getting upgraded to an i5-3550, I believe. It's that one right there. Um, and I've done these machines with i7-3770s and not the 3770K, although I have tried one of those too. And I really like the plain 3770 better in these. Um, I've had Xeons in these. As long as you keep it to the same generation of CPU, I think these were Sandy Bridge, maybe Ivy Bridge, I don't know, they're old as fuck. Um, as long as you keep it to the same generation of CPU made for the same hole, you're doing alright. It's going to fit, the microcode's going to work. Make sure you've already updated your BIOS to begin with. This one's got a 3550 in it. Um, anyway... Let's see, let me see if I can point this sucker down for you to where you can see what I'm doing. And yeah, that looks like that should work, right? Hopefully that ain't aimed at my dick. Now, before you begin, I've already pulled the cover off this. It's only two screws and it just slides back. That's it. Um, before you begin, the tools you're going to need, you're going to need some heat sink compound. Uh, whatever your favorite flavor is. I like this cheap shit. It's made by Cooler Master. Um, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. And that should be all you need. Uh, you might need a flat because it's a old ass Intel. Yeah, that might be a flat, but that's alright because there's one over there if we need it. Now to get the top of your CPU shroud off, there's arrows on the shit. Grab where the arrow is, pop one, grab where the arrow is, oops, sorry, go caddy corner, pop one, grab where the arrow is, pop one, you see, and what you're doing when you're popping one is you're going like that, that's it, just a little pressure, you don't, John Wayne don't fucking live here, leave that shit alone, if you gotta brute force it, don't do it, now, before I proceed any further, if you're a Democratic Party member, um, you're going to need an additional thing around. Um, you need a constitutional party member or a Republican if you can't find a constitutional party member. Because um, you're just too fucking stupid to own tools. That being said, let's proceed. You pop your screws here. You got four of them around the CPU. Oh, and I picked the shittiest screwdriver in the pile too. And we're going to love this today. Alright, oh and you need a shop rag. I had one out here and somebody done walked off with it in just the time I was setting up to do this video. Alright. So those four screws are off. Well, no, three of them are. I'm getting ahead of myself. And this is not a DOD machine. This is the civilian variety for a change, so you're getting a rare treat out of me. I'll switch screwdrivers before I put this back on. Sometimes you need a little help with pressure. All right, that's all. Now, normally I disconnect. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to disconnect the fan anyway. It's just on a little speed plug. It's right down there. Hopefully you can see that. If you can't, well, hey, too late. I already done set it. I'll show it when I put it back on. All right, there's the shop rig. So. 
before I go any further, I'm kind of a, a little bit of a OCD. I'm going to clean the heat sink compound, the old shed, off the bottom of my fan. All right, see, that's clean enough. I'm going to clean this heat sink compound off of my old CPU so it's nice and clean when I put it in the tray. If you don't have a tray, hey, stick it in something static free. Paper envelope if you got ain't got nothing else but a static bag if you got a static bag. It's that simple. All right, now this little latch. out like that you push down to get it to get it to slide out there's your CPU now I've got my alignment for my old CPU I've got my alignment for my new CPU too because there's an edge right here that you look at um, there you go now the CPU is in Bingo, bingo. Okay, so you reverse the process here. Make sure that your CPU is properly lined up. And you look, the little tabbies are where they're supposed to be, and this one is. I'm mentioning that because some people don't make sure. Some people are kind of in too much of a hurry for that shit, I guess. Okay, this has to slide back to get it under the screw. This is Dell. It's a Jenny Intel board, but it's still got that pain in the ass old style clip. Okay, so now it's down. It has tension on it. I break out my heat sink compound. I pop that shit on there. It's just like greasing your old lady's asshole. Go on ahead and put plenty on there. And then I smear it around. I make sure I've got a good coating on there and I don't have any bare spots. If I need more, I can add it, but it's better to add less and not have a gooey damn mess for the next guy that upgrades it to a Xeon or an i7 later. Like I said, this is an i5-3550. Actually, let me verify that real quick because we got the same chip in this other machine already. Properties. 3450. Um, and the machine's an Inspiron 660S. So I've got enough heat sink compound on there because that shit's going to squish out a little bit. And before I seat my. See right here is where that plug is. And there's little lines on there so you can't screw it up. Well, you can if you put it on backwards and John Wayne the shit, but. I'm trying to help you not do that because I don't like it. I don't like seeing machines where people have John Wayne the shit. And I did say that I was going to grab a different screwdriver, and I mean it. This one sucks. All right, so now I've got a number one because that number two kind of sucked in here. It's too big for the screw holes. I'm going to put one slightly down. Okay, that's gripping. I'm going to put one slightly down. Okay, that's gripping. Now I'm going to do the other two just to get them started. this sucker right here, pop that sucker right there. Now, I double check, I pull up directly on the screws on all four. I don't pull on the heat sink. I, I sound like a dumbass redneck, but I'm not. Alright, now I go caddy corner, one across from the other. If you're a damn Yankee and don't know what caddy corner means, I tighten two of them until they stop. But don't John Wayne the shit. Right? 
And there's the other one. Boom. Boom. That's the last two. Now, I go back. I just a touch. Just a touch. Just a touch. Just a touch. That's it. That's all I got to do right there. Now, I find my little shroud. That's this thing. And I pop that sucker back on there. Now, there's alignment pins on these right here and right here. Line them up in two of the fan holes. That's all you got to do. Start clicking. Boom. I did not John Wayne that. That didn't require any more pressure than you would, you know, fingering the end of your old lady's titty or something. I don't know. I can't think of anything funny for that. Um, at least I admit it when I can't think of nothing, right? All right. So that shit's done. And all I got to do now is put the cover back on. And as promised, I'll show you that too. I mean, I know that there's some dumbass Yankee up there that even though they've joined the Constitutional Party, they don't know that there's slots there, there's little tabs there. You lay that sucker on, it slides in. Now there's two screws on the back that go on the back here, and these you can use a number two screwdriver on. Boom. Get that sucker started, just spin it on in there. Boom that sucker started and spin it on in there alright so I'm done with that motherfucker now look here I'm gonna flip this this is the old chip it's on a piece of paper because I don't have a tray out I'm gonna shut this other machine down completely shut down see I always do that before I shut them off I probably should have cleared the CMOS on this bastard because it's a Dell. But I think that I don't have to. I think I'm going to send it into defaults because it is a genuine Intel board in these. It's rare. Usually Dell puts in the cheapest shit they can possibly put in. Alright. Now I'm going to move my screwdrivers over. Move my heat sink goo over. I'm going to put the shop rack down here because I'm not going to need it again. And I'm going to slip this sucker right up here, just like that right there. I know y'all can see that. I hope you can anyway. Let's see. Yeah, that kind of looks like it's in line. If it ain't, well, hey, you know, I think the mirror's getting that in the picture anyway is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to rip the shit off of this one. And this has a R7280 or an R5280, I don't remember. It's got, an, it's got a nice little ATI. One of these had a 2 gig and one of them had a 1 gig. I think the 2 gig is in the one that's already done here. Okay, I'm going to plug all this crap in. If you're wondering about that antenna, that's just a um, UFL to an RPSMA connector. And it's attached to the onboard Wi-Fi card, which also is not stock. And I'm going to pop that right there. And let's give her some juice. Juice, juice, juice. See if the old bitch fires up. Let's hit that, let, let's hit that joy button right there. Oh joy, I got keyboard. And I got a screen. Alright, I don't even have to do shit. It's already detected that CPU. I like that. That's a nice Intel board. She's going through some crazy shit. And if I remember right, this piece of shit had windows. And a spinning drive, so... Yeah, it's coming up. That's a Windows little spinner. And the, uh, originally it was a dual-core Pentium V-Pro, whatever. Um, that's the original chip. 
you could pick these things up all day long for, I don't know, probably less than 75 or 50 bucks on eBay. Drop in a, and a half ass, like I said, they're old. You can drop in a half ass modern i5, i7, Xeon, as long as it fits the hole and it's the same generation. The microcode's gonna work. Uh, make sure your BIOS is updated. That's all you really gotta do. Okay, so now we're up. And we're running and we're hearing redneck noises from the dude in the background there. We don't know what he messed up now, but you know, I mean this one of them, this one of them dudes, he's old, he's retired, he he breaks shit just so he can work on it. <laughs> I'm really surprised he didn't flip me the bird over that one. <laughs> uh. All right, and it looks like it is back up to a Windows desktop. Let's give this thing time to settle. I'm not going to connect to the network right now because I don't want to y'all fuckers knowing my password. All right, so I go up. I don't have to do anything. I go right here. I'm giving Windows time to detect that it has a new CPU. Let's just go up. Let's just go on a normal click. I'm, I hate Windows. They irritate me. Okay, so I go properties. Boom! Core i5-3450. 3.10 gigs. Alright. So that sucker's up, running, and working, and Windows has already detected the CPU. Now, wasn't that shit easy? I'll tell you what. Just because of that, because that shit went so, went so easy, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to light me a lucky. As you know, I like me a lucky. All right. So... That's the best I can do. That's the funniest I can make this and still have you learn something. If I pissed you off, well, hey, you know what? Either way, you're going to remember it. If I make you laugh, you're going to remember it. If I piss you off, you're going to remember it. So, all's good, right? Anyway, we'll holler at y'all fuckers and fuckettes later. I hope it was helpful to someone. If it wasn't, well, I hope I made you laugh. <laughs>